hey, <clears throat> just outside and it's begun to uh, snow, but able to hear the snow. But I was kind of just out here looking at the moon and Venus. Uh, which I'm guessing you might be able to see just over there. I'll kind of hold this as the clouds move. And uh, maybe you'll be able to hear the snow. Can't hardly feel it on the skin except for the, the cold and the wet, but like no weight. And yet it's... Anyway, can barely make out the, uh, the sound, I guess, at the moment. Also, there's a weak signal, so who knows if you're getting this, if there's a breakup, or it'll end. But the snow just not gonna really work, is it? Anyway, the snow, which you can just feel in terms of cold and wet on your skin, but uh, no weight to it, that's uh, easily sensed. And yet it sounds like hail hitting the slightly crusted snow on the ground. And uh, just kind of watching the far away and then feeling the far away come to me uh, in the form of snow from the skies. And uh, of course now that I got it to start to record, I don't hear much of the sound, but that's how these things go. So I'm just uh, trying to do a little meditation here, standing in the driveway, listening. I'll come over this way. Maybe a little bit quieter. Which may make it easier to hear the snow coming down. But it's kind of nice to have your ears bring your mind to the floor and then have your eyes bring your mind to the, you know, the heavens, the skies. And really feel like between the two, they're really helping to. Uh, now a light turned on. I guess I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but between the two, they really helped to, uh, well, since the light came on, you might be able to see what the snow coming down looks like. Little tiny pellets, it seems. But, uh, anyway, the mind, the eyes bringing the mind, to the sky and the ears bringing the mind to the ground under us. And there's the uh, there's the two. In fact, the last person leaving the barn right now, so some of those lights will be gone soon. And uh, maybe we'll be able to hear that. But really I'm just kind of letting those two senses uh, expand my mind, and that's the meditation. And to fill it in, kind of tune into the sensation on my skin of the cold air or the snow landing on it. But it's really interesting to have my senses draw my mind, not just to two places, but to the boundedness within the two places the mind is drawn. So right now it's up and down, uh, but I've done this, you know, with uh, a few different senses going a few different places to sort of stretch the bounds or help me discover what's in the bounds of the heart and the mind. That's all I'm going to do now. Thanks.